the brush tool has been enhanced in Animate CC. And I'm just gonna walk you through some of the ways you can control the brush now. And so with the brush selected in properties panel, you'll see I have a cool slider for selecting the size of the brush. And not only that, I have a slider for setting the minimum size of the brush. So now when I draw, I'm, I'm making good use of that pressure sensitivity. So if I increase the size of the brush and, um, and you know play around with the minimum size of the brush, you can see how that plays an effect on the stroke. And so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to grab, um, uh, I'm going to turn on object drawing mode, and I'm going to mix a little bit of transparency into this black color. I'm going to do this because what I'm going to do is just sketch out something first, and I kind of like to draw this way if I'm just sketching something. So let's draw, um, let's just create a character. And this is for me, um, with the transparency mixed in, it kind of gives that nice feel of, of like using pencil especially when you have um, the combination of alpha and object drawing mode on. You can see the layering of transparency. Okay, so I've got a, a nice little character roughed out here. And so now what I like to do is actually go and create on um, frame two a blank keyframe. It's gonna hit F7 and then turn on onion skin. And now I can see a ghost of my image and I'm going to now do sort of a cleanup version of this drawing. I'm gonna remove the alpha transparency. I like the brush um, size of eight with the minimum size of zero. And if I wanna save this as a preset, I can just click this little plus button here. And that saves this as a preset. I continue to press the plus button. And those will be saved as presets and use them later just by clicking on them. So now I'm gonna redraw and clean up my drawing in frame two. I'm gonna turn off object drawing. I'm gonna do everything in this one frame. I might make a few design changes along the way, but for the most part, I'm gonna just stick to the drawing at hand as we have it. So now what I wanna do is grab, make sure the brush is selected, which it is, and the sub selection tool, instead of painting normal, as you'll see here, I'm gonna select paint behind. I'm gonna make a pretty big brush. And I'm just gonna actually freehand paint this. And by choosing paint under, it's painting underneath the existing strokes. And again, with brush tool selected, the sub selection tool that we want to use is paint inside. And what this is gonna allow me to do is, once I click down on an existing fill color, wherever I paint, it's only gonna paint inside that fill color. So this is a nice handy, quick way to add some shadows and shading to characters. And now let's mix a little color for her eyes. And while this is selected, let's add a little bit of depth to her eyes. Again, brush tool, I'm gonna paint inside, just like that. Let's mix in a nice dark brown, maybe a little bit of red in there make a nice big brush. Let's make sure we're painting behind. Now we can be pretty loose. Now let's add a little bit of depth to her hair. So let's make some highlights. Just make a lighter, mix a lighter version of that. Brush tool is selected and let's say, let's paint inside as our sub selection. Actually, here's a cool, um, here's another cool sub selection feature. If we select the brush, and let's choose as a sub-selection, paint selection, and then select just the hair fill. Now, wherever we paint, we'll only paint inside the color that is selected. And this time I am going to go back to painting inside So what I'm gonna do is select this shape, hold down shift and select a little bit more of that fill. Grab the paint brush tool and then I'm gonna choose as my sub selection, paint selection. And now I can draw her eyebrows in without worrying about overlapping the line of her hair right there. And that's just some of the ways you can use the brush tool to draw or paint inside of Animate CC.